Hello my friends, today I will take you on another ride. Vroom, vroom. But first I need to turn on uh, the lights. Okay. Let's go. Vroom, 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 vroom. Beep beep. And your first question is why? And my answer is for fun. This is M5 card computer or card computer. I already showed you this device. This device, this ESP32 S3 device is interesting because it have a built-in keyboard, speaker, SD card, infrared emitter and huge battery so I decided to try to fit one of my old examples one of my let's call it card example on this tiny 240 by 135 screen and it's working so here I have throttle with W and A I can change gears left and right are pointers L turning lights on and off and H is horn and I can set brightness of screen with B this is just for fun but I will still share this code so you can modify it for for something else for showing some other data and yes i have also version for m5 stick c plus 2 which i will always also share this sketch or this program is not reason why i decided to make this video uh, reason for this is in the last video I showed you that I uh, started to use M5 burner easy way um, using M5 burner you can easily install many examples uh, which are shared by different people I will also share my example there but I also find there M5 car computer launcher which allows me basically to store all my examples on SD card and run them from there for example I will reset this board using this button launcher is sorry when I reset board I need to press enter very fast and now I'm in launcher. I have three of mine examples. This was mini car. Let's let's launch a resistor color code example. It will took a while, but now have I have my resistor color code with left and right you can choose bands and with down you can choose value for each band so also fun example let's let's try to launch something other and here is my space war you also saw that So this is really useful because now I have you have theoretically have all of your examples and all different sketch here. And this game is hard on this device, but it works. 
and when I reset board I will turn it off uh, launcher will run only a few seconds and if I don't press enter it will uh, it will uh, start last last example which is launched this is very interesting and very useful <coughs> I hope you learned something today I know that many of you bought this uh, device if you don't have this one yet and you want it you have my affiliate link in description so you can also start to play uh, this as I mentioned I will share uh, this example I will share code so you can modify it and I will share also uh, this example in uh, in M5 burner so you can find it there but if you want to use M5 launcher you will need binaries my binary files and now I will show you how to use M5 launcher so first you will need of course SD card just regular SD card and some kind of card reader because you will need to transfer bin binary bin files to that SD card in description I shared uh, my github code so here you can find a code for M5 stick C plus 2 here is code for card pewter inside this folder and here you can download all three bin files mini car resistor color code and space war so so you will download this and put on your sd card and next you will go to m5 burner i showed you in last video how to install where to find it how to use and you will go to card pewter and here you have many example you can install very fast on your card and here you can also find my card dashboard for card pewter so you can download it and install but you want to find this m5 launcher computer and it is it is uploaded or made by user name b mods so that launcher is not mine i'm just using this version so you will just click to burn burn continue and start so you need to put these three files on uh, your SD card put SD card in your computer and burn this M5 launcher and now I will show you how you can uh, for example if you want to export your own firmware firmware or your own sketcher program so basically you need to program your m5 card computer or any m5 uh, stack board and you will go to user custom and you will go to export firmware you will choose port where your device is connected you will choose size of that sketch and you will choose file path so you will choose where your bin file will be saved so on this way you can save all your examples convert them to bin firmware and store on sd card and run whichever you want at the time i hope this was helpful thank you for your time and 
I will see you very soon, uh, I hope. Goodbye.